Hey Shibi Doodlers, how are you doing? Well today I'm going to show you how to draw a World War I biplane. And to help, I've got this piece of paper here and I've folded it in half and half again. So uh, it's all in quarters and we can fold it up to make this kind of long box. And you can see at the end it has a square section. Now the top here, this represents the top wing of the aeroplane and the bottom represents the bottom wing of the aeroplane. And in a, a, a biplane, the, the top wing is, is leaning forwards a, in front of the bottom wing. So you get this kind of diamond shaped rhomboid uh, cross section pattern. And if you can get this inside your head, it's gonna really help you to be able to draw the drawing, but <laughs> let's not talk about it, <laughs> let's do it. Well, I'm using a pencil and a pen and an eraser. And I'm gonna start by drawing a kind of diagonal line like that. And then another going off at an angle like that and another which is parallel and then parallel to this one, we join them up. So we've got a parallelogram, haven't we? <laughs> and if this was a box, then these lines would be going straight down and we'd be making a cube shape at there or a <laughs> and then we'd be joining that one up there as well like that but we want the top wing to be in front of the back wing so we're going to tilt it slightly like that so that this will in fact come to about there and this will come to about there and we can get rid of all this kind of stuff, which is gonna confuse us. And that's gonna be there, like that. So we've got the top wing floating slightly in front of the bottom wing, and you're gonna have these spars coming up, holding them together, kind of like that, and one's gonna be underneath there. Now, if we find the midpoint along here, it's an optical thing, really. Um, then we want to go parallel with this line here. And this is going to be the bottom of the fuselage. And here we can build um, a an ellipse, which is going to be kind of the, the metal cowling on the engine, the engine cowling on the front of the aircraft. And then this is going to kind of come up to about there and we'll have the tailplane there. The tailplane will also be then sort of coming out at an angle like that, and that will be hiding kind of around the back there, so you'll just see this little bit like that. So it's kind of an, kind of like an ellipse going on around the back there. That doesn't quite look parallel. <laughs> and we'll have the fuselage, the undercarriage coming down there, undercarriage, and, um, Again, the axle will want to be parallel here. So you've got a lot of parallel things going on here. Uh, the engine cowling will have a kind of a little hole there for the propeller nose cone bit to come out and we'll put the propeller kind of in like that there. Now, also, we can't really see the pilot at the moment. So find the center there and we're going to kind of cut a piece out, which means that we might just see the pilot's head <laughs> sticking up at the top there. We're going to want to have the top held in there and a machine gun as well, probably. That's not quite parallel there, is it? So, and now we can start inking in. Start on the top wing. Let's do the top wing first. And I'm going to go out a little bit and curve it around. And here, I'm going to go out a little bit, curve it around to that back point. Then I'm going to follow along the front to join that up. And we come to this sort of curve that we bit out of the top wing like that. And then to get the thickness of the wing and the kind of aerofoil kind of feeling of the wing, go straight up from the top here and you'll find that's pretty much the central uh, line. And we want to go up and curl around. Go up and curl to the back. Up, curl to the back. And then we probably want one right at the end there. Okay, so it's up and curl, up and curl. So we're getting that slight feeling of thickness to the wing. Um, 
Now next I'm going to put in this machine gun, which will be the nearest thing to us again underneath. <laughs> so you have to keep thinking in terms of layers. Um, and I'm going to put the struts in there like that. Um, and next I think will be this wing. So that again has this thickness there. Come out a little bit and then to the back. Follow that line across. And we want this thickness up and to the back, up and to the back, up and to the back there. Then I think we maybe want to have this nose cone in here. And we can put the propeller in there and around. And I suppose I should have it sort of going zipping round and round and round and round and have it flying in the air. So we could just do something like that if you want. Um, and I'm going to have this nose cone cowl coming down there. And you maybe see bits of engine and things in there. So this is quite like, uh, I put these little lines curve there and maybe sort of curve around. So it's looking a bit like a sop with pup. And <laughs> it looks like a sop with pup for a reason, because I went and drew one earlier this year. And you can go and have a look at my sketchbook on about that if you want. And this then wants to sort of come up around like that. Again, we want this curveness here. There, so we're going up, so we're going up and to the back, and up and to the back, and then this will be the tail plane uh, aileron, is it? I think I'm not sure. Someone will tell me. And these will be the elevators. <laughs> I'm not sure. So again, we kind of had these bits to. I think these are the elevators, aren't they? They're the flap things, anyway. You know what I mean. And here is a wheel. So it's not quite a circle. It's quite squashed. It's quite a an elliptical kind of oval shape. Uh, and that's the undercarriage holding it on. So then you can put the axle going through, which is will be parallel to the line of the wings there. Um, and then we can put the undercarriage struts there. And then we can put the wheel in around the back. And nearly there. I'm going to put the struts in there. We're going to need struts in there as well to hold it onto the fuselage. Um, there's the wing at the back. And again, we're doing that curve. And then we'll bring that up at the back. Maybe a little skid. Maybe some whoosh marks. And when you are sure that it is dry, then you can Erase those pencil lines. <laughs> uh, you might want to put, you could put some little bit of hatching in there like that. And maybe some on the leading edges of the propeller and you can put some kind of whooshy marks in there. Whoosh marks on the back. You could put some shading in down there just to kind of send those things to the back a bit. Just add some clouds. All you need to do is add some paint and there you go, how to draw a First World War biplane. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, uh, why not go and learn how to draw a World War I tank or have a go at the mystery drawing. <laughs> Either way, make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel on YouTube and for lots more drawing videos every week. Uh, and go and have a look at my Patreon courses for uh, all sorts of more things on there. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.